Today, you'll learn how to add a page to the menu in WordPress, how to remove a page from the menu in WordPress, how to add a sub menu in WordPress, and also how to add a footer menu in WordPress. I'm Alex from Ideaspot. Let's get started. First step, we go to our WordPress dashboard and we go to appearance and customize. Now from our theme customizer, we find the item called menus here. Click that one and we want to go to the one that's set to primary menu. In this case, that's called primary menu. It might be called main menu or something similar, but we click this one. Then you'll notice the add items button here. We can click that and now we can add and remove things from our primary menu. So let's say we want to remove that services button. We can click that one. If we wanted to add the sample page, we can click that one. That'll add the sample page to our menu. When we're ready, we can click publish. You'll notice that our sample page is now part of the menu and the services page is now removed from the menu. Now, besides adding pages to the menu, you can also add blog posts to the menu or your blog posts will appear here under posts. You can add custom links so you can link to any page you like on the web and set a custom link there. You can add categories of posts as well. The other thing we can do while we're here, if we close this, we can reorder our menu so we can move things up and down in the order with these arrows here. Let's say we wanted the sample page to be after the about page, we could move that one up. If we wanted the about page to have a sub menu, so we could make the sample page appear under the about menu, we could click this arrow here and that will create that little bit of indent there and you'll see that the sample page is now under the about menu. In this case, I've noticed that the sub menu doesn't look good because it's white text on a white background. We can fix that under uh, our header builder in Astra. You've got our transparent header that we're using here and we can set our design and have a sub menu background color there. So if we set that to something a bit more appropriate for our page, we can have a, a dark blue background there that makes our white text readable. Besides header menus in Astro, we can also do footer menus. So I'm gonna go back and let's make a footer menu. So let's go menus and let's create a new menu and call it footer. And we're gonna say footer menu there. Select that one, click next. And now we've got a footer menu we can add down here. So if we go add items to our footer menu, we can add, let's just add say the home page, the contact page and the about page. Hit publish. Now we can decide where we wanna put that footer menu. So let's get our footer loaded up here. Um, we can see that down the bottom we've got uh, our copyright message. Let's say we want it to be on the right hand side. So at the moment there's only one column at the bottom. We could set that to two columns and we could put that footer menu down here. So I'll press plus and choose the footer menu. Now you'll see that we've got our footer menu with the home, contact and about. That's the menu we just created. Hit publish. So that is how we add a page to the menu or the sub menu in the Astra theme. It'll be very similar in most other themes. If you want a more detailed Astro tutorial, I've done one, I'll put the video up here. And the other free theme that I really like is Cadence theme. I'll put that video here, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.